uh, rodents exist in any large city, including the city of Chicago, unfortunately. They're unsanitary to have running around your neighborhood, and it's the city's responsibility to go and address that. However, we're not sure where the rodents are going to be at any given time. So we used data and we used predictive analytics to predict where rodents were going to be so we can address the problem before resident complaints or visitors come across a rodent have to call into the city. We need to make sure that when we go out there that we actually are taking care of the problem. Predictive analytics is when we take data that's happened in the past and try to predict an event before it happens. The Smart Data Platform is an open source data processing platform that we're building to bring predictive analytics and big spatial data to the city's operating departments to help them make better decisions. So we can really use it to apply to any number of problems where the city is attempting to use resources more efficiently or effectively. So our predictive model identified 31 different variables that predict where rodents are going to be within the next seven days. There's a number of different reasons why rodents will be there, but primarily they're looking for a place to sleep and also a food source. So trash or any unsanitary habits tend to attract rodents and then also places for them to live and hide, such as a, a vacant lot. So every day 311 data gets reported to the city of Chicago and this goes from overflowing garbage to I've seen a rodent in my back alley. And every single night we run that through a series of algorithms to predict where we think rodents are going to be within the next seven days. And in the morning there's a web page that gets populated with the address of where everywhere we think rodents will be. And then streets and sanitation crews take a look at that information and they visit those addresses and look for rodents. They look for any sort of nuisance and they lay baits. Uh, to address the problem. They'll look for the nest and then they'll lay a bait. And so then that information gets reported back to us and we use that as a measure of success. When they approached me with this um, project um, and Tom had come to me and said, well, this is what we're going to do with the data that, that we have. And at first I thought, there is no way that they can predict where there's going to be a rat. And I was a little leery of doing it, but I said, you know what, I'm going to go with the whole program. We did. The first time we sent a crew out there and they came back with some of the stats and stuff they found in that out, I was amazed. And I was just, I couldn't believe it. So I was very impressed with it and the way they put it together and how they figure it out, it's just amazing to me. Data envelopes us on a day-to-day -day basis and the average resident citizen needs to know what is data, how does it get collected, what is predictive analytics, and how do we take data and turn it into action? And what does that mean? What are the shortcomings? But overall, data literacy is a core component of 21st century skills.